Could dogs be trained to sniff out COVID-19 in humans? Recently, the University of Pennsylvania announced a COVID-19 canine surveillance initiative where Dr. Cynthia Otto of the Penn School of Veterinary Medicine will lead a multidisciplinary study to see if scent detection dogs can tell the difference between COVID-19 positive and negative patients. So what's this pioneering study all about and what could positive results mean for us in the future? All that and more coming up. Let's get after it. Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Dingle Days. Today, we're going to be discussing a very promising study in the area of canine scent work. So I'm going to be going over an explanation of the material and methods, as well as the potential working dog contributions to the medical field. While not always given the spotlight they deserve, canines are often on the cutting edge of medicine. They could be working in research labs right now or going about their daily routine, which often involves saving someone's life in some form or capacity. They have been used in many respects to help detect things such as ovarian cancer from as little as one drop of plasma, glucose levels for patients with diabetes, or even helping to detect some superbugs that are very resistant to antibiotics before they have a chance to spread to vulnerable populations. Our dogs are one of the many everyday heroes. So we'll be covering the UPenn study, which seeks to explore the viability of scent detection dogs as a force multiplier against COVID-19, particularly among asymptomatic patients or places where testing can be extremely challenging. So how will the study go? I will leave some links in the description if you want to check out the full articles on the study, but the gist of the methodology goes something like this. Eight very special dogs will be chosen to provide a precise detection skill. They'll be given three weeks for the dog odor imprinting stage, where they will be exposed to COVID-19 saliva and urine samples in a laboratory environment. Once they are able to discriminate positive and negative samples in the lab, the study will then move on to see if the dogs can determine or identify COVID-19 in infected people. I just wanna read a quick quote from Dr. Cynthia Otto. Scent detection dogs can accurately detect low concentrations of volatile organic compounds, otherwise known as VOCs, associated with various other diseases. These VOCs are present in human blood, saliva, urine, or our breath. The potential impacts of these dogs and their capacity to detect COVID-19 could be substantial and harness the dog's extraordinary ability to support the nation's COVID-19 surveillance systems with the goal to reduce community spread. Dr. Cynthia Otto is a professor of working dog sciences and sports medicine and director of Penn Vets Working Dog Center. So that's pretty huge if these dogs are capable of detection in humans. There's an author I really love by the name of Maria Godovic in her book, Dr. Dogs, How Our Best Friends Are Becoming Our Best Medicine. She highlights a vast array of special tasks that dogs perform in the lab to the bedside. She discusses how their olfactory capacity or their ability to sniff in parts per trillion primes them to detect diseases and how they're observing our behaviors can guide humans physically and emotionally. This phenomenon in the realm of our current situation would be a complete game changer. As the way forward, the preliminary screening of live humans by trained dogs could begin as early as next month at the time of the recording of this video. And PennVet is taking a key part in the biomedical community making significant contributions to combat the public health emergency. So could dogs be trained to sniff out COVID-19 in humans? It seems very plausible but only time will tell as some very smart folks leverage the unique and collective expertise of pathogen-related research, infectious diseases, and translational medicine to fight this pandemic. By the way, if you enjoy the content we put out on this channel, can you leave a comment in the comment section below? And go ahead and smash that like button. That means hit it an odd number of times so it turns blue. Okay back to our regularly scheduled programming. Even more recently, there have been some early signs of hope with reference to COVID-19 scent work studies that have been testing whether 20 Belgian Malinos dogs can be trained to detect COVID-19 in humans. Unlike the UPenn study, Dr. Raid Sarkis, a Lebanese digestive tract surgeon at the French St. Joseph University in Beirut, is working on the study with experts from the National Veterinary School of Alford in France and using the sweat from infected individuals. The sweat gives off a distinctive odor. These dogs almost always identify the correct smell. The results have been 95% positive, with few errors. The chief veterinarian in partnership with Dr. Sarkis, Dominique Grandjean, not sure how to pronounce it, but just trying to give you the facts here, plans to publish the results of their study in a scientific journal soon. So be on the lookout for that. The detection of illnesses through the changes they cause in our bodies, aroma is a really non-invasive manner that has historically been used to detect other illnesses. Dr. Sarkis stated, I think all illnesses are linked to the genes. We have about 150,000 genes, so any mutation modifies the genetic molecule or the protein, and so each mutation in a body results in alteration in the smell. 
That is why it's so easy for dogs to learn to identify the different smells. However they make it work, I could potentially see TSA or its equivalents having travelers put a gauze underneath their arms and then removing it and presenting it to the trained dogs. They'll give an immediate indication whether the gauze is positive or negative for coronavirus. All this and more without exposing the dogs to contamination. Unlike saliva or urine samples, sweat does not present a risk of contamination. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up so the YouTube algorithm knows it's good and shares it with the broader audience. I know this was a little bit more scientific, but I really wanted to present something very relevant to the scent work community and how great and how strong these dogs are in leveraging their capabilities with canine scent detection work. So thanks so much for tuning into the channel. As always, more new pet content coming soon, and we will see you in the next video.